All right, uh, we are here at Sony's crazy E3 2018 showcase. A whole lot of games, a whole lot of action happening behind us, and day two of E3 is officially in the books. Uh, but before we talk about Sony, uh, there was a lot of exciting stuff today. Let's start with Ubisoft. Ubisoft actually knocked it out of park for me. New Assassin's Creed, which I'm super excited about. Is that a DLC yeah. or an extension of uh, Mario Plus Rabbids? Yes, yeah, Mario, yeah. Mario Rabbids. Donkey Kong Adventure, so DK is getting down with the Rabbids, for better or worse. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I do think it's awesome. Starlink and Star Fox. Oh, I think yeah. that a lot of people probably didn't have any interest at all in Starlink, aside from, oh, it's another Toys to Life kind of game. And all of a sudden, Star Fox. Assassin's Creed Odyssey looks pretty good. Very cool that you get to choose your character this time around, and we'll see how all the dialogue choices work out. Oh, dude, we forgot about Beyond Good and Evil 2. Yes. Oh. That is looking a base. Balls. Yes. It's probably a ways out, but it looks great. And before we wrap up Ubisoft, of course, the Division 2 looks great. Yep. Bringing the action to Washington, D.C. They announced eight player raids. I'm sure, I'm sure you're excited for that. Oh, you're going to be grinding away for those raids. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about the reason we're here right now Sony closing Monday out with an incredibly impressive press conference. Kicking things off with The Last of Us 2. It was a really wild experience. We were, they kind of put us in a church or a barn. Or yeah, some yeah. Kind of when the guy with the banjo came out, I had these deliverance vibes and yeah. I was quite ready to duck and or buck. Yes. But it was thankfully Ellie and she was doing all the ducking, bucking, killing, stabbing, shooting that we needed. Yes. Uh, Last of Us 2 looks incredibly impressive, incredibly brutal. <laughs> And uh, after that, we saw Ghost of Tsushima, definitely one of my favorites in the show so far. But that looks like some great sword combat, and sword combat is not easy to do in games. And it's a new IP. That's something that we don't get a lot at E3. Not something with a two or a three or a five behind it. So thank you, Sony. Thank you. Two of my favorite announcements from the show, uh, Control, a new, new game from Remedy, the folks behind Max Payne and Quantum Break. Very much looks like a spiritual successor to Quantum Break with all the crazy slowdown effects and kind of time-bending combat. But of course, probably the biggest thing for me, Resident Evil 2 Remake, it's finally oh, real, it's, it's finally so, happening, so it looks pretty. incredible, all, all the, everyone's back, Leon's back, Claire's back. For me, uh, I know that every day brings a new Kingdom Hearts level at E3, and I was, <laughs> yes. I was super excited, I, I may be a 14 year old, but I was super excited about Frozen, and now I'm super excited about Pirates of the Caribbean, because those are just great movies, and it's going to be really excited to play through them. Oh, the Justin Rowland, um, uh, I... Rick and Morty game that's not a Rick and Morty game. Yeah. But it's a Rick and Morty game. Oh, jeez, oh, Rick, it's a, it's, a, it's a PS4 game, oh man. And of course, the big finale for the show, and the reason there's all this New York City paraphernalia out here, Spider-Man had an incredible new trailer. We saw Spider-Man at the raft, duking it out with pretty much the, the all-star cast of villains. We saw Electro, Rhino, Vulture, Scorpion. Yeah, the, the combat looks really fun, very Arkham style, yes. but very acrobatic. The web swinging looks great. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. Oh, and we cannot forget about Death Stranding. Uh, what can you say about Death Stranding? I mean, uh, it, it is Death Stranding. I mean, it's a baby in a womb and then in a jar attached to Norman Reedus. It was actually here, sort of. Or a very lifelike <laughs> statue of him. I don't, right I don't know what to say. Like, Hideo Kojima continues to confound that we're going to keep eating up trailers until we can make sense of something. When we left the conference, Kenneth's reaction was, what the F is Death Stranding? <laughs> and that's... Four trailers later, that's still kind of everyone's reaction. So it's good that there's a bar here because a lot of us probably needed a drink after the Death Stranding trailer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that has been E3 2018, day one uh, or day two. Uh, everything's a blur right now, uh, and the show floor hasn't even opened yet. So we've seen so much exciting stuff already, and tomorrow we will actually hit the floor and get hands on with a ton of these great games that got announced. So definitely keep it locked to Tomka for all the coverage. Yeah, and babies in jars. <laughs>